if you've been featured in brand name publications or if you've got any brand names you've ever done work with, then use the brand name to help you get additional links. Hi guys, my name's Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon. We're an SEO agency based in London, but serving clients worldwide. And I'm here today to talk to you about use the brand name link building. So fundamentally, uh, first of all, thank you for signing up for these additional 17 strategies. But fundamentally, the, the, the principle behind this is quite straightforward. If, for example, you have, and let's just search in my instance, TEDx Deepak Shukla. If you have, for example, as you can see here, one a TEDx speech. So I've got a couple here. Let's go to see if my third one coming up is uh, being posted yet. It might not have. Uh, here we go. Fix uh, events. I think that I'm up here as well somewhere. Deepak Shukla, founder and international marketing and sales expert. Okay, that's uh, interesting. So um, yeah, my point is is that imagine now running outreach by saying, you know, hey, it's uh, Richard here from Pearl Lemon. Just want to see. It. I noticed that you're doing something in regards to recruitment, and would love to, you know, have Deepak share his thoughts on this check out Deepak's last TEDx speech um, and TEDx being the main center as an example or wherever you've appeared that being the main center or premise of how you push a person so rather than saying you know I work at or I'm the founder of Pearl Lemon rather say Deepak TEDx speaker being the primary thing because how many people have heard of TED talks versus heard heard of Pearl Lemon and that's really a good proxy for how to think about use the brand name link building that if you've got a Forbes mention or a BBC mention or this mention or that mention, use that brand name to fundamentally get more press rather than using your own, for example, company name, because it's all about ultimately the law of recognition. The more recognized a name is, the more you should use that name to get you further recognition. So if you're reaching out to Google, for example, then it makes sense probably not to mention Apple, but to mention that, you know, you worked at Facebook or you worked at, you know, maybe it is worth mentioning that you worked at Apple or, you know, you've been featured in Apple because, oh, if Apple are talking about you, then maybe we'll, we want to hear you about you as well. So, you know, there's these parallels that if you have appeared in the Financial Times and you could reach out to the Telegraph or you could reach out to the Daily Mail or you could reach out to, you know, Business Insider and say, you know, hit Deepak here. Um, recently as you know who was recently quoted in the financial times and then someone who's an editor at forbes or at the daily mail reads that oh deepak was quoted recently in the financial times let me take a look at that um they're much more likely to be receptive to ultimately your pitch as opposed to hey deepak here founder at pearl lemon he's got some interesting thoughts of recruitment would love to share them with you do you see how that makes just hearing it out loud a distinct difference so always always use whichever is the ultimately most recognized name and using that brand name, using the brand name will just help you generate more links effectively. So think about what that means for your positioning, because once you land that initial quote, whether you're in Business Insider, Forbes, TEDx, whatever it might be, it's really going to fundamentally help you when it comes to, this is cool. I didn't realize that, uh, this was out there. It's really fundamentally going to help you, you know, get land more links. So that's it, guys. I hope that that makes sense and uh, catch you in the next one.